Well, good afternoon, folks. Uh, Greg Silverman back in the CIOs and Bowties studio with uh, uh, Uncle uh, George Washington behind us and uh, Mr. David Crook to, to my side over here. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, David. February the 14th and happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there. Happy Valentine's Day. And uh, as is uh, our, our mode of operation, you know, we're constantly looking at which articles you folks like out there. Uh, and two have percolated up interestingly over slightly different periods of time but both of them are really interesting because they are uh, graphical comparisons of various states in the United States compared in uh, I guess economic prowess to uh, other nation countries so mm -hmm. it's, it's really interesting we'll put the links to the two articles below this so you can check it out and maybe follow along uh, as we go but the, you know the first article uh, has this great colorful map of uh, of the United States and, and, and a, an individual country in comparative size next to each state so we're going to hit on a few of those but first of all let's just put this into context David um, global GDP in 2018 was 80 that's eight zero trillion dollars of which the USA contributed 20 and a half trillion dollars so that's you know over 38 uh, nearly 30 percent of the world's economy the nominal GDP um, and these numbers are as provided by the International Monetary Fund I might add thank you um, so a few let me raise a few points and I'd love to hear your uh, your spin or your take on it interestingly enough right there are 372 million people in the United States out of 7 billion around the world contributing that 20 and a half trillion of the of the world's GDP, That's which is one quarter of the world's GDP, by the way, the world's GDP is just over eighty trillion dollars. Right. So three hundred seventy-two million people contributing a quarter mm -hmm. of the world's GDP. Um, talk about wealth inequality, perhaps. Uh, the other interesting item is the U.S. government debt at the moment stands at uh, twenty-one trillion, which is about terrifying, the, really. But the, it the is annual GDP of, of the U.S. So. You know, have, have, pick at some of those numbers. What's what's important? To uh, well, I'm going to start on what I believe to be uh, the biggest long-term problem, which is not something that actually is new. That is uh, the 21 trillion dollars of debt that the United States has um, will, in due course, become a problem. Um, I might have addressed this on one or two other of these episodes. Um, right now, it's not. The U.S. dollar is the world's reserve currency. It will remain so for the time being. Um, very little uh, real competitors out there, whether it be. Uh, cryptocurrencies or barter or other currencies but with that being said 21 trillion dollars is a large number over time the US better reduce that otherwise it's going to be a, a hard issue to deal with uh, down the road especially if the interest rates were to rise yeah, indeed and yeah the servicing thereof just becomes horrific that being said uh, so the US is the world's largest economy Greg told you uh, 350 odd 370 are the number of used million people in the US um, of 7.2 billion dollar people um, 7.2 billion people in the, on the planet. What is that all about? It's all about how much money each individual within an economy has and earns and consumes. Um, so China, 1.3 give or take billion people, the world's second largest economy. There are many of us that might have thought, uh, might not included, I might add, but might have thought that China would be the world's economy today or might be soon. Um, not really likely to happen as they transition their economy from a manufacturing economy to a, uh, a consumer driven economy just like the US. So the US consumer, the standard of living, the per capita income for US residents is substantially higher than that of China and many of our competitors in that regard, Greg. Okay, very good. So let's, let's bust out on one of these states and then we'll carry over to the next part. Uh, on some more states so so the one that I thought was interesting let's start on the west coast is the comparison of California so California has a GDP of uh, 2.92 trillion dollars mm -hmm. the closest nation state to that is the United Kingdom at 2.81 trillion dollars and so I'll hand it over to you for comment but the one thing that I noticed which I thought was kind of comical was the UK has just gone through its Brexit and you know the uh, the state of California is forever uh, wanting to secede into its own mm -hmm. uh, country, as it were. So that's kind of comical that the two are so closely uh, economically sized. Which brings me back to something that I, that I read many years ago. Um, I believe the book was called The Investment Biker, an ex mm. uh, 
Jim Rogers. Jim, Jim Rogers. Yeah. Uh, he took a motorbike around the world, ended the trip coming through the, Cal- the Mexico-California border, and comments in that book, this is decades ago, um, and comments in that book that don't assume that the United States is going to be the United States as we know it today geographically. And in his view then, as I said decades ago, there is some probability that both California and Florida want one day Brexit from the uh, <laughs> from the United States, to your point, Greg. So there you Texas, go. there always seems um, to be mm, agitated. Yeah. So we, we'll get back to Texas in a second. So let's take a short break, though. When we come back in part two, we'll hit on some of these other countries. A very, very interesting comparison. So stay with us. Excellent.